what is, someone uh, asked, what's a clean animal versus an unclean animal and how did no one know which is which? And this is a fantastic question because we often assume, right? Like the division between clean and unclean animal, like if you know your Bible a little bit, that's the kind of thing that is determined for us all the way into Leviticus, right? When we get the kosher laws, right? There we're told certain kinds of animals are clean, pigs are not, right? Animals that have uh, hooves and chew their cud, chew their cut or split hooves, and chew, right? Like we have the various kinds of, uh, of separations. But here God just tells Noah like, uh, gets a, get a clean animal and an unclean animal. And Noah's supposed to know what that means. So what does that suggest to? It suggests that the division between clean and unclean animals was not in fact uh, something that required explicit regulation as we have in Leviticus. The author of Leviticus, who is also the author of like the Genesis one and the first flood story, right? That author thinks that the separation between clean and unclean animals was not uh, given to humanity, to Israel until Sinai, until the laws at Sinai. But when you read through the rest of the Bible, it's pretty clear that like the division between clean and unclean is sort of unknown thing. That is everybody in ancient Israel, if you had asked them, is this animal clean or unclean? Basically could have answered you. Um, what's a clean versus unclean animal in practical terms? This story actually tells us clean animals are the ones you can sacrifice and unclean animals are the ones that you can't, right? And again, that sort of knowledge would have been culturally broad and available to everybody, right? Everyone would know, right? I can sacrifice my sheep. I can't sacrifice a horse, right? Because this would have been just sort of, again, widespread cultural knowledge. And I'll do you want, do you want better? We have ritual sacrificial texts from Canaanite cultures, right? From the city of Ugarit, right? Uh, on the coast of uh, present day Syria. Um, uh, and those ritual texts have the same animals as the biblical texts, which is to say, everybody in that area would have kind of known what's clean and unclean. And so our author here assumes that these are eternal categories, clean and unclean, and Noah would have known it too. <laughs>